Hello! Welcome to the second part of the photo transfer workshop. I've been soaking the transfers that we made last time in a Tupperware container full of water. They haven't been soaking too long, uh, just about four hours, but enough that the transfer paper will have absorbed some water and gotten nice and pulpy enough for me to work with to take the paper off of the transfer. The longer you leave it soaking in the water, the easier it is to get the paper off. But this is good enough to demonstrate what we're, what we need to do next. So what I'm gonna do is get one of the smaller transfers out just so that I can demonstrate to you uh, how to take the paper off of the transfer. So I think I'm gonna work with the Chinese Dragon transfer. As you can see, uh, we have a shiny side. We have a shiny side and a paper poppy side. So I'm gonna put the shiny side down onto the tea towel, which I've already laid out, and get it nice and flat on the surface. The tea towel is to absorb any excess water and also to provide a nice soft surface for you to work on. So what I'm gonna do is just start rolling the paper off of the transfer and you can see it comes off quite nice and easily and like I said the longer you leave the uh, transfer soaking in the water the easier the paper comes off and you see it comes off in nice big chunks. Uh, somebody was asking me about where I get my acrylic medium and you can get it at any art store. Uh, in Vancouver, I go shopping at Opus or De Sears art stores, and both those places have uh, shelves designated specifically for acrylic medium, and they have several different types. So you can get like flat acrylic medium, you can get glossy acrylic medium, you can get modeling, modeling paste in that same section. I prefer gloss gel. It's a little bit thicker than the other mediums and I can add some water so that I can get it at the right texture that I like. And you'll notice too in my last video that the container I had was quite large. It was a one liter container and that's because I do a lot of photo transfers. You're not gonna need to get that much when you go shopping for your uh, acrylic medium. You can probably just get um, I was gonna say like a 10 mil jar. Uh, just probably the smallest jar that they have, um, depending on what other kind of projects you're gonna be working on and how many photo transfers you plan on making. Acrylic medium is also really nice to mix with your acrylic paints when you're painting. And also it provides a nice protective surface over your paintings once you're done. So you can use it for lots of other things. So if you want to get a little bit bigger jar, that's fine. But you don't need to get a huge one like I do. So, as you can see, I've gotten most of the paper pulp off of this transfer. And there is some paper residue left on. I'm not particularly worried about that at this point. I can put it back in the water just to get the uh, just to get the paper that's kind of left on there that's loose off, so it's kind of just like washing it off. And I can go back in with a cloth. Let me just take some of these paper rolls off. Just so I have a little bit cleaner surface to work with. I'll lay the transfer back out onto the tea towel, flatten it out, and you can take a cloth at this point and just kind of gently rub the surface to get some of the more, um, some of the paper that's still kind of attached to the transfer. You want to be fairly gentle because even though it is um, it is kind of durable, the transfer may rip or you may get little 
little tears in it. So you don't want to like go super rough. You just want to kind of, you know, gently rub the paper fibers off. And then you're left with the transfer. It's still quite milky on the shiny side. And on the paper side, we have the image. Uh, what we can do next is put it onto the canvas. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. 